morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. Wasn't that piano so wonderful? Ah, oh, she practiced a couple of times yesterday. It was so much fun. That was, I just want to reiterate, the first time she's touched her piano in about three months and she was doing it without music. She hadn't dug into her music box yet. She has dug into her music box now and she played again later, but we were sitting in the living room and had music on the TV and so she got up to walk around because she needs the exercise <laughs> and sat down at the piano and I turned off the TV and we just sat and listened to her play. It was so nice. Anyway, I'm so tickled. I'm looking forward to her practicing every day and maybe I'll practice too because I found my book. I put my lipstick on today because <laughs> my hair looks terrible. I haven't had my shower yet because I'm, I'm decorating today. The kids are not coming. Allison is feeling somewhat better, but is not best, it's not better. And so we decided not to risk, not to make her, well, I think they, Jason probably would have left her home and she could have rested and maybe that would have been better for her, but you know, germs and aura. So we will see them. I guess we probably won't see them until Christmas Eve because Christmas Eve is in two weeks. So I'm decorating today, so tomorrow, and I'll try to do some video while I do it, and tomorrow all will be revealed. <laughs> but anyway, so I didn't have my shower, and I didn't wash my hair, and I looked terrible, and I was in the bathroom combing it desperately, and then I saw my lipstick, and I thought, oh, I just talked about how I never wear lipstick or anything, I'm, you know. So now, now you know, my not wearing lipstick is like, it's the easiest thing to do, because it keep it in the powder room next to where my comb <laughs> and I comb it every day <laughs> actually it looks good maybe I should brighten me up a little bit cheer me up a little bit make me look more cheerful cheerish thank you so much to everybody who came to the zoom yesterday it was so much fun mark your calendars January 14th January 14th will be our January Zoom for 2023 to bring in the new year and give it a joyful start crafting together. We had such a good time. It was so lovely to see everyone. Thank you so much for coming and a special thanks to the wonderful Valerie who hosts our Zoom. It is so lovely to get together with you guys every month and... Uh, and new people are always welcome. Please, please join us. And we had such a good time. We had such a good time. <clears throat> Our Megan, who is the hostess of the, we have a Facebook group called Flame and Fiber Zoomies, something like that, um, that she hosts. And I will put a link to it below. Uh, in the down bar, you can find it. She spells fiber the the um, non-American way, so it's F I B R E on that flame and fiber F R B R E zoomies. I'm pretty sure it's called, but I'll put a link below. And she has been um, posting there and on Instagram the um, advents that she opens from me. So if you want to see her advents, but also she will be collecting like making a little database of people's um, uh, names and addresses. If you, you know, we were talking about how hard it is to send Christmas cards to people when you don't have their address. And we, you know, she will be collecting addresses of those of us in our group who are open to having, um, you know, their address known by other people in our group so that they can send cards or thank you gifts or whatever they might want to do um, to correspond, you know, with the people in our group. And she's collecting those names so that if you're part of our group and you're part of that group, you can become part of that group. And um, anyway, if you want other people in our community to be able to contact you with your physical address 
email, <coughs> not email, um, message, DM, either in Instagram or in Facebook, Auntie Nana NZ. That's Megan's Instagram name, Nancy, Auntie Nana N NZ. I'll put that in the down bar too. Or maybe I'll just put it on the screen here because I'll double check and look it up. It may be Aunt Nana, but I think, but I'm, I'll put it here. You saw it. You're seeing it. <laughs> mm. <coughs> and you're seeing the name of the Facebook group too. I forgot. I'm editing these. I can give you that information. Well, yesterday you saw me, those of you who are daily, saw me open the most gorgeous yarns that went together so beautifully from Megan and Benta of Arctic Crafts. And I put them both in. I'm a day ahead. Is that cheating? I just, they just had to be together. These two yarns, aren't they perfect? Isn't that perfect? Isn't this turning out so gorgeous? I just think th these four yarns together, I mean, I'm just feeling great about it. I really am. I really am. I'm very excited to see which direction it's going now. But I had to put both of them in. So this is Megan's yarn from yesterday, and this is Benta's yarn from yesterday. And don't they just go so perfectly? I mean... This green is in here. This color is in here. I'm just blown away. I just thought they, they, I just, I couldn't stop last night. So I did both of them. So I'm like, I'm a day ahead on my, <laughs> I think that might be some kind of cheating. I'm not sure, but I am so in love with how this is going. I do feel like it's time for another bright, you know, maybe, well, see how, what are, my yarns are today. I, you know, I may go into, um, I don't know. I guess, I guess my inclination is to go to one of the dark greens from Megan because they're so gorgeous and I want to use them now when the stripes are only nine grams. And so I have enough. And then, um, and then maybe from the green go back into some pinks to mimic what we did down here. I don't know, because I got pinks. But let's see what we get today. I couldn't stop. I'm like, I really, I have to see these two together. So this is the day 11. Oh, day 11. From Benta. Pink. Then I need to go into some pinks. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, I love this color so much. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, do I have, where's the, where's the green? Where's one of the greens I'm contemplating? I balled, I had a, or it helped me ball up that other green. Where it, help, where it help, um, helped me ball up the green. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I love this pink. Love, love, love the pink. Oh, Benta. <laughs> I am so sad I don't have 24 of those. <laughs> Now I don't know why uh, if that if she only made the twelve days or I was, you know. I had to buy this, you know. You have to buy them ahead of time. I had to buy it when I had no mojo, so I think I was a little bit afraid. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm very very sorry. But it's possible that she only, that she just was advertising the 12 days. <gasps> oh my gosh, how adorable. They've got googly eyes. They have googly eyes. Can you see that? <gasps> stickers, wiggle, wiggle eye stickers. 
Oh my gosh. And there's a random eye floating in there. I saw that. Oh, the kiwi lost his eye, but that's all right. I have glue. <laughs> These are adorable. These are adorable. Hmm. I may have to think about Christmas cards next year where some people get googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Thank you, my dear. And here's my soft present. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty. Oh, my goodness. I love that. That's kind of a mauve with the real, real highlights there. Ooh. Maybe that's a better progression. What do you think? What do you think? <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Sparkle, sparkle. Not sparkle. This is, uh, this looks like it's the regular. Um, oh, she tells me. Oh, no, it's the yak. This is the yak. Oh, Megan. I am really loving your yarns. I really am. But I think that the this progression is, is better. To eventually get to here. Who knows? Who knows? Because I love this too. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I'm really enjoying knitting my Advent shawl. You know, it's just enough. You know, it's getting to be more and more obviously, as it's getting bigger. So the stripes now are nine grams, eight or nine grams, where they started out as four and five. Obviously, <clears throat> that little green one down there is a lot less. But this should be, this should be enough for the next stripe. And I think that's where I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go with this green. And then bring it and then bring it in to the pinks and brighten it up a little bit. I just could not resist. Couldn't resist. I just made a second stripe. I'm like, this is like cheating. <laughs> but when you have two advents, it's not really cheating, is it? It's not really cheating. I'm so tickled. I'm so tickled. Oh, yeah, but I have to do this one soon because the rows are getting bigger and bigger. Let's see. So that that green would be row 12. It's the 11th, but like I said, I'm ahead. That green would be row 12. And the pink, and this would be 13, and it says 10 grams. And that's exactly what I'm getting, 10 grams. For some reason, 14 is 9 grams, and then we go over. Then we're 12 grams, 15 grams, so then I'm going to be doubling up. Doubling up some of Megan's greens. Because the, at the, the later stages, <clears throat> we're getting to, um, so maybe that wasn't the best choice of pattern when I'm doing 10 gram minis. But because of the way she's dyeing it and she's doing these experiments with how does it look on this base and same colors on this base and this base and this base. So I have, I have multiple colors. So, it will be fine. I will be doing that. These are so cute. So funny. But there's a, a random eye in there, and it's this guy's eye. I'll, I will be very careful not to lose that eye. <laughs> so fun. So much fun. Oh, well, I haven't made Christmas cards for my granddaughter. They would love a new go eye on their Christmas card. 
So, so the piano came yesterday. I did take video of the guys moving the piano in, and I'll put it at the end if you care about it, but the joy, it was such a joy yesterday. She played it three, three different times, I think. And, uh, <clears throat> but the one I, the one I recorded was her very first time when she just sat down raw, no practice, just seeing how it sounds. And it sounds good, apparently, they tell me. I wouldn't know. Um, but we are having the tuner come on Christmas Eve to make sure that it's all good. So that's fun to have. And I look forward to hearing her play today. And I did find my book, How to Teach, teach Adult, you know, Adult Learning <laughs> Piano. So uh, that'll be fun. So yesterday, yeah, the piano came actually relatively early, and then I had my Zoom with everybody. Oh, and let me show you. I knit on the girls' hats. Oops. I don't have them. Going like this. So they're both connected to... <laughs> they're both connected to yarn at the moment. But... Here are the hats. So this one is getting this yarn next, and this one's getting this yarn next. I may switch them. I may do short, you know, smaller stripes. I may switch them soon so that we have a very obvious difference in stripe size. Yeah, I think I might just do that. And uh, so I have my bag full of minis and things so that I can put lots of different colors in. Well, after I do this pink, I'll have to put a little pink in, right? And those pinks, that pink will be soon-ish, so I will have some left over. So there you go. That's what's been happening. Um, you probably don't care to see the piano being moved in, but I'll put it in anyway. Oh, I got some things to look up because I got to edit and put stuff. So there you go. That's today, December 11th. Time is passing, but I am decorating today. Feels like I've waited so long. Well, because I was going to do it with the granddaughters, I waited so long that it feels silly to like overdo it. But you know, I do like to overdo it. I kind of promised Dennis I wouldn't overdo it, but you know, it's such a vague term. He won't know if I did or not, <laughs> in my opinion. He'll know it in his opinion, <laughs> but I could deny it complete deniability. <laughs> anyway, please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.